Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another Real Madrid preview. This is the preview to Mallorca versus Real Madrid. La Liga opening game for Real Madrid. Um, you know, this is going to be a very, very, very long season as ever, and we are back for another. 38 La Liga games um, this season. I mean, it's going to be very, 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 very fun. And I can't wait. Now, Real Madrid, reigning La Liga champions. Can they keep their throne on this trophy? I very well believe that Real Madrid can. I do believe that this is going to be a season, or this could be a season where Real Madrid do... Finally, do a back-to-back -back in the Liga in a while. I mean, the last time someone did a back-to-back -back was like all the way in 2016, if I'm not wrong. So, it's been years. I mean, every year, it switches between Real Madrid, Barcelona, Real Madrid, Barcelona, and then occasionally Atletico Madrid win it. So, it's going to be very interesting. Um, we'll get on to, you know, um, a little bit of a preview about La Liga and the season as a whole in general towards the end but opening game away at Mallorca I think Real Madrid have to start off strong because you know if you lose your opening game if you don't win the opening game it is going to be um, you know the momentum is gonna drop I don't think these players will lose a lot of momentum but you will certainly not be the best start that you know you can possibly get and obviously you know winning the super cup already gives the motivation and hunger to these players for more now you're going into season two for some of these players some for some players that like Mbappe the first year and of course they're gonna be players who have been here for years now but to keep that hunger you know for a player like Danny Carvajal who's now the captain the leader um, because obviously Modric doesn't you know start every game so you know for players like Modric and Carvajal they are what into their probably 12th season 11th 12th season at Real Madrid they've won everything they could have won already what else more is there to achieve but yet they are going to be the players who are going to be able to lead these players to you know give them the hunger to win more and that is in the Real Madrid DNA so I think it is going to be um, very important but I do think that for this game away from home it's always a tough game to go to you know teams like Mallorca and Vario Vallecano um, and you know in the past was Cadiz but um, I think they've been very good to heaven day so uh, you know we're not gonna be able to see Cadiz no more this season which is a bit sad but you know these teams they like to play defensive football they like to sit deep play a low block to frustrate their opponents but you know with speed with players like Vinicius and Bappe Rodrigo you should be able to you know get past the defense and still be able to win the game but honestly um, the starting 11 it's the same starting eleven I, that I have decided to put for the At the Atalanta game. It's the same starting eleven. I haven't changed anything because I don't see a need to. Now, look, these players are going to need a lot of rest this season, but I don't think that the first game of the season, the real season, you need to make a lot of changes. I think that from the Atalanta starting eleven, I don't see a need to drop anyone. I think this team is going to be the best team that you can put together and we want to see these players play together for as many games as possible so I believe that there isn't a need to drop anyone and this team is strong it's very very strong now that you have a main vocal point in Mbappe this team that is you know more of you know players that you can sort of lock to their position so last season Bellingham was the false nine and then you were wondering between Tony Cruz Luka Modric who was going to play next to Tramene and Valverde this season 
I think Luka Modric will not be a starter, and he hasn't been a starter at least since last season. Um, Kamavinga is injured. He won't be back until at least October, around there. Um, and yeah, that really sorts the midfield out by itself. In the attack, I think when you have players like Mbappe and Vinicius, they automatically start. And the defense with Alaba still out, without a new centre back in, and the full backs, you know, being the balance that you need, I think the overall team you have to stick with this um, to have the best chance of winning. So I've got Courtois and Go. I don't see Lunin starting. I've got Mendy, Rudiger, Militao, and Carvajal. You know, as I say, you need balance. Frank Garcia and Lucas Vasquez are not necessarily needed in such games. And I've got Rudiger and Militao because I'm not willing to start Vallejo at all. And you've got two fits in the backs. Let them start. The midfield, Tromene as the six, the DM, great. Bellingham and Valverde, perfect. And the front line of Vinicius Jr., Mbappe. And Rodrigo. Now look, I know that you have got the likes of Endrik, Brahim Diaz, and Arda Gula, but I think Rodrigo is in a different category compared to those players. Those players are not bad players, they're good players, but they haven't shown what Rodrigo has shown in his Real Madrid career. Um, I mean, Endrik is new, he needs time. Arda Gula is new, he still needs time after being injured for the whole of last season and Brahim Diaz look he's a good player he gets you uh, you know 10-15 goals a season he scores he creates he can come on and make a difference but I don't see him being a main starter so Rodrigo has to start so that for me is the starting 11 I really do think that that's the best starting 11 you can put out and for the opening game, you have to put up your best starting eleven without doubts. Now look, pressure's on. Um, so far, Celta Vigo have won. They beat Alaves. They are top of the league. Barcelona beat Valencia yesterday. So they are second. And everyone else have drawn. Las Palmas, Sevilla, Girona, Hetafe, Leganes, Real Betis, um... Osasuna and Athletic Club have all drawn. Now, look, for the opening game, not many big, you know, eye-catching games. Uh, maybe Villarreal, Atletico Madrid. But, you know, the season is going to be a long season and you're going to get the big games come up. But I'm looking at Barcelona and I'm thinking, look, they haven't been able to sign many players of course they've got through Danny Olmo um, they were looking at Nico Williams but I think that that um, ultimately hasn't gone through and isn't going to go through so I think that you know Barcelona are going to be back they're gonna be stronger than they were last season they can't get worse than that because last season they had just many players injured they were a shambles um, and they've started off well. I think they're going to be a big threat for sure. And I'm looking at Atletico Madrid. They've done brilliant, brilliant signings in the window. Um, look, Julian Alvarez, a massive signing for them. They've already got Griezmann. They've got Memphis Depay. They've brought in Solov. You know, I'm not sure what happened between the Conor Gallagher deal. But their team is now added with a player like Julian Alvarez. That is incredible. I think Atletico Madrid will certainly be in the mix. And let's not forget Girona. Look, they have so many players. Um, with Dufbik, I think, going. Um, Alex Garcia leaving as well. Um, Savio leaving as well. I might be missing a couple more. But look, I think they will still be in the mix for top four. And, you know, teams like Real Sociedad, Real Betis, they will certainly be in their pack as well. So, it's going to be a competitive league this upcoming season. And, honestly, I can't wait. Finally, score predictions. I'm going to go... I think it's going to be a tight game. I don't think you're going to get a big, big game. 
uh, in terms of the scoreline. I'm gonna go Mallorca nil, Real Madrid two. I think getting a two 0 win away from home to start the season off is a very very good start. You know, I've seen people say Mbappe hat trick. Hopefully, I do hope, but um, the likelihood of that will be low. But hopefully, he gets his first La Liga goal. Who knows? But I hope you guys have enjoyed today's preview. Hit the most did subscribe to the channel on already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.